key concern for farmers considering a change to no-till is this issue of residue. Let's face it, changing to no-till is complex and multifaceted. And when we're faced with change, it's human nature to feel apprehensive. Yes, and our series on residue begins with this clip of our time with Dr. Dwayne Beck, because a change to no-till is not just about the equipment. A real effective change for the farmer also begins with a different mindset. In Finding Nemo, they had this thing where, you know, fish are friends, not food. Right? Residue's my friend, not my enemy. <laughs> Why the Disney reference, you may ask? Well, keep in mind that Dwayne Beck thinks of a farm field as a system. And in a system, everything is connected. You know, especially for us, but I think for anybody. I mean, the, the idea of cycling water like it happens in nature means the water goes in the ground. And water goes in the ground because you're protecting the soil. The soil armor, I think Jay Fuhrer would call it. And you do that with residue. Mother Nature does not have bare ground. She doesn't do tillage. She doesn't allow soils to become bare. Uh, man, trying to manage natural ecosystems, does that. But, but Mother Nature, when she's left her own, you don't find bare ground anywhere on protected land. And, and so residue is your friend, and it, it controls weeds for us. It provides a habitat for beneficial insects. It, it tempers uh, changes in humidity and changes in soil temperature. And when we get warm days here in the summer, uh, our soil temperatures can go, you know, in 120, 130 degrees if it's bare. And nothing lives there. I mean, the, the soil's a living thing. So leaving the soil bare is like, you know, it'd be like you going out naked and, and just, you don't do well. You get sunburned, you freeze to death, whatever. It's, it's just not a good deal. And so whenever I see a bare soil, it's, you know, it's like, it's just the worst thing in the world. Okay, so it sounds like Dwayne Beck says that residue is not quite the problem that many farmers think it might be. But Dwayne is a researcher, right? So what about the farmers themselves? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Our next video will take us to long-term no-tiller Ralph Holtzwatt. <laughs>